Yeah, hi there. These comments are for RN 1976. This is Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer of the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And I'm commenting right now on your independent uh, speaking practice test number two. So let's take a look and see how you did. Uh, I'm going to give you right now about, um, I'm going to say 2.16 out of 4, about 17 points out of 30. Uh, in terms of the actual question, there's kind of two parts to this question. So you have, um, I think, choose an event that has meaning for you, explain how it has changed you. So you, you chose the event, which was getting the paper published in the Journal of Chemistry, right? Now the only difficulty here is there's two parts to this question is explain how it has changed you. So you need to do a little bit better about you know organizing your speaking task around the question. So you might say something like this. You might say um, uh, getting my paper uh, published in the Journal of Chemistry is an important event which has changed me in that it has increased my uh, has increased my salary and my respect has become better uh, in the academic community or something. So if you start off like that you can say well it helped me make more money and it gave me more respect among my peers. That's it. So if, if you start off the speech like that with these two key points then, you, then you'll go after that and say first of all you know publishing the paper was actually able to help me make more money in my career and then you give maybe an example to help support that. Then you say second of all publishing this paper in the journal of chemistry it gave me more respect among my peers and again you give another example to support that. So with with the way that you did the speech you're, you're, you're kind of answering the question but you're doing it in a very indirect way and and about the time you get to 40, 44, 45 seconds into your speech finally you're you're starting to talk about how it has changed you but you still haven't given really any specific reasons to kind of support that so you you definitely need a much more direct way I think uh, to begin your speaking tasks so I would really take a look at at the uh, lessons uh, under my speaking section and particularly speaking lesson number two I think will be important for you right now. It'll, it'll show you some uh, different kinds of grammar structures. I think in the video I'll teach you like five different kinds of grammar structures you can use uh, in your topic statement to begin the speech. Now also take a look at grammar lesson number seven and within there <laughs> it says in the the little file that I send you says focus on the writing exercises. Once you go to the website with grammar lesson number seven, click on writing and focus specifically on thesis statements. Because if you can create a really sharply focused thesis, uh, it really helps you get to your point much faster than what you're doing. Now, what you'll do is at that website, it'll show you different examples of what's called a good thesis statement, which means it's arguable, it's sharply focused, and it's not in any way unclear, right? It'll show you those three characteristics and, and you can compare the, the really good thesis statement with the thesis statement that probably is not worded very well. So anyway, good to hear from you. Thank you for doing the practice test and uh, keep up the good work.